Yo guys, I am back. Sorry about um little delays on my uploads. Um I may have to retake my videos a couple of times. Um but let's get into some GTA news. Starting off with GTA 6. When will it come out? Fuck if I know. Who do not trust? Mr. Boss for the win indefinitely. This is even coming from Ned Luke, aka Michael DeSanta. Or it's like what he likes to call him, Mr. Fuck the World. Mr. Boss Fuck the World. <laughs> Love it what he called him. Which is pretty much what he's doing, he's fucking us all over. Um, Jeff Tutorials. Uh, of all those guys that says GTA 6 is coming out this, this, that, this, this, and this year, that, the, that year, blah, 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 blah. blah. I don't believe a word of it. Um, I don't recommend you guys do it as well. That's just my personal recommendation. Because remember when they said, oh, the GTA online cops and crooks are coming out today. That day. Casino. Okay. It didn't come out this day, but it's going to come out this day. Casino Heist comes out on that same day. But you get, kind of get the message that they are kind of just trying to get money from YouTube for that. Um, they've been exposed by, you know, Rockstar Games employees like Ned Luke. Sean and Steve Oak. Mainly Ned Luke. He's definitely done the exposure on Mr. Boss for the Win or Mr. Fuck the World. As what Ned Luke calls him. <laughs> Which is actually pretty fucking funny. Mr. Fuck the world or whoever you are. Which is pretty much what he's doing. He's fucking trying to fuck the world over. Nobody knows but Rockstar when GTA 6 is coming out. It's still in the middle of completion. We don't know how far percentage it is. Unless if Rockstar confirms its percentage. Then we can do a good rough estimate. My estimate is late this year, early next year. I could be wrong, I could be correct. But now, moving on from GTA 6. Wait, more news on GTA 6, my bad. We could. Here's a possibility. Possibility of a female protagonist offline. Possibility. So don't get all butt hurt if I don't get everything correct. I don't know everything like everyone else doesn't know everything but Rockstar. Rockstar could be pinpointing at a female protagonist. Um, but at the same time that could just be us hallucinating for a female character because we want one so fucking badly. Um, cops and Crooks. Possibility GTA 5, but we could probably have to wait to GTA 6 to come out for that. As it could be possibly a straight up in game game mode. You know, just a game mode straight up. Like LSPDFR, which I've got to admit is pretty fucking fun. Um, another thing that could be a possibility in GTA Online is the purchasable cop cars. As Rockstar's noticed that people have modded it, people have even glitched own cop cars, so there's that stuff. Um, police uniforms could be a possibility as well, which it looks like a higher possibility of cops and crooks after we've just noticed DLC. You know, the casino and the casino highest has leaked some major big things to a possible upcoming DLC. The FIB uniforms, the fact that we can now buy, you know, grumpy sick stuff and all that, but at the same time, we could end up getting a jobs deal, so like, you know, could end up having to work for grumpy six eventually, could end up working at Taco Bell, uh, Burger Shot, Up and Adam, you know, stuff like that. We could end up getting that for a DLC before Cops and Crooks. But like, Cops and Crooks is a very, very big possibility. But at the same time, if you look carefully as well, on the other end of the scale, we have fire trucks. We can still save the slot uniform. Um, we can still, at the moment, I think we can still save the gun belt. 
we can still do the gun belt glitch and save it. I'm not too sure I haven't tried it. Because of the fact that I don't want to lose my male character. As I have spent too much money into that character. And I'm not talking about in-game money. I'm actually talking about real-life currency. Um... Another thing, uh, definite possible it's possibility for uniforms. Um, how Cops and Crooks is going to be set up is yet unknown. My hoping possibility is we have a free, a separate free roam for it. Not like on, um, suppose on how Tez Fun said it. On, um, look at, you know, a, um, Look out on how, um, you know, fucking, um, Arena Wars is. I'm trying to put my thing right because of how terrible it is. Um, another one on how we can definitely tell there's an upcoming DLC is, seriously, every week now we're getting triple money in RP. Not, no, 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 not just the double money in RP, but now we're getting triple money in RP. Before we know it, we're getting quad. We're getting closer to an upcoming DLC. Slash update. I call it an update myself. Like the cops and crooks would be an update on the game. Um, all of these things, in my opinions, are just updates to make the game more interesting and less boring. Um, another thing that I'm am hoping to see, apart from cops and crooks, is definitely that jobs one. That would really come in handy for some quick cash. Like, you know, you can work your way way up in the ranks as an actual worker. You can work and do that type of stuff. Or you can actually earn money from being a police officer. That would be pretty damn cool. Like, you know, it would be that fun. Just rolling around in an unmarked car, busting AIs, um, and earning money for it. Even just AIs. Like, if they do something like that, that would be pretty fun. That would definitely get more people into the game. Like, hell, if I was a newbie, if I was someone who did not know nothing about GTA and I heard, hey, I can get a job as one of these guys just sitting here all day with a fucking machine gun eating donuts and drinking coffee, I would be up. I would be down for that. Even as the experienced player I am, I'm still down for doing that type of stuff. I find that reasonably entertaining. Sure, it gets boring sitting there all fucking day, but... Hey, that would probably program the AIs to do something fucking stupid. Like an AI ramming into you, which is um, pre-programmed anyway. <laughs> These dumb asses already do that. Um, but definitely, in that free roam session I was just talking about as well, hopefully we can disable the cops. And uh, we can actually just become cops. Cop cars will just spawn there. Or we can spawn in a certain cop car we want, like the Buffalo or, you know, something like that. Or we can have personal cop cars. Because personal modified cop cars would come in handy and will give us police. Yes, us police. I am Highway Patrol in Roleplay Clans. I'm FIB. Stuff like that, you know. I am on the law side until, well, I choose to retire. Um, but at, on the same end, the criminals would have hell to be able to lose them, like, you know. Take DOJ, DOIJ, 5M, and Red Lion. They've got goddamn four GT cop cars. Those things, and this is coming from a personal experience, them things are a literal pain in the ass to escape. But a goddamn Crown Vic chasing me down the road, a stock standard Crown Unmarked or marked Crown Vic, you know how it, you know how easy that thing is to escape in a supercar? Even a stock standard supercar, which that brings me on to the next thing that I recommend for an update. Properly category these vehicles. So, right. These things are properly category that I'm in right now and uh, the one that I'm shunting. I'm just going to quickly disable the wanted level and see what they do. 
That is not what we need. We don't need cops shooting at us. So definitely some things that I would love to see is most certainly more, like, you know, more police things, like, definitely, you know, amp all this stuff up, tame these cops right the fuck down to the point where they wouldn't care if you run them over, for God's sake, okay, that is a bit too lenient. Right, but you know, like, if you accidentally shunt into them, make sure they don't kill us. Right, just these little tiny things that I'm saying would probably make the game a little bit more fun, like, especially if you're on your own, wanting to get into a police chase, or wanting to actually intervene in a police chase and not get killed for it. As well as definitely seeing these street races pop around the corner and all that. Like, that would be so much fun to be able to interact with these guys instead of them fleeing away from me. It's like this guy, he just wants to try to escape me. But well, that's until they're dead. Um, another thing is definitely when the AIs get hit or shot in the right spots with a bullet, make sure they don't. Also, not every AI with a damn gun. Perfect trick shot. But like, you know. Why is the AI so aggressive towards you? You accidentally hit them, and everyone is there. 100% their fucking faults. This thing should be listed under a supercar. This thing most certainly should be listed underneath a supercar category. This thing in real life is an R35. This thing's R a supercar. Okay, that was a good shot. I'm not gonna lie. I think I just killed the driver of that one. Gotcha. Okay, so that's a good escape.
I can't, I'm not gonna lie, this car is pretty good for escaping. Um, so yeah, that brings me on to another thing of these cops. Um, how they were just then was perfectly fucking normal. Hey, cop. Well, that's another thing that the cops have got to realize. Is they never know when they're gonna get attacked. You could say, hey, that's a nice pretty car. But at the same time you could go, oh that car might be bad news. Another thing that would be really cool is like, you know, the FIB eventually comes out of like, once at level 4 or once at level 5, you get the FIB chasing you. That's another thing that drives everyone insane, is when your tire gets shot out, supposedly now your car is inactive. In a way that's the truth, but in the way that's also a big fat lie. Your car would not spin out like that. As well as like, you know, give them something to do. Another thing that they need to really fix on these cops is I'm gonna hunt you down. That one fucking word. Why would you say that to someone? Right about now, the FIB should be involved. Especially the fact I'm throwing bombs out on the road and trying to kill them with bombs. 
And I'm actually killing with balls. I'm using bombs to back them off from me. At this point, you would be backing off. Your helicopters would be standing down. And you would have the feds involved. The feds are the damn military at this point in time. And then there's the fact of a rocket launcher. What would you do then? These cops are so underlogic. That they think that they can just deal with somebody with this amount of firepower by themselves. It's not physically possible. As long as I don't know how a taser could kill someone. Well, I do, but like, you know what I mean. Now with that in mind, ladies and gents, um, brings me on to my next little thing, um, more of GTA's news. Now let's move on to the upcoming DLC. What is it? I'm not too sure. What are we hoping for? The cops and crooks. But at the same time, for years, we did want the casino. We did get that. We would, after that, we did want to bloody rob the casino. Those little heat sneer strip were placed in as well. We weren't expecting the updated, um, you know, cutting stunts, the new version with the, uh, you know, Formula One vehicles and stuff like that. Well, I somewhat was expecting it, but at the same time, I wasn't hoping for it. I was hoping for it later on down the track, not straight up after a very, very big hit DLC comes another racing DLC. Well, update DLC, whatever you want to call it. I call it a dead breath, actually, I ain't gonna lie. So now I do have my normal issue gun.
I gotta say, after my transformation, well, my character's transformation, she does look better. I'm not gonna lie. Another thing is GTA 4 over GTA 5. The AI logics are better in GTA 4 than GTA 5. I'm not gonna lie. Reality, you would not have, you would not run, just instantly run if there was a gun aimed at your freaking head. You would put your hands up first, not just run. Like it's an instant instinct. To put your hands up. Not do it all these idiots done. Jesus Christ, that looks just like my old character. Well, that looks just like this character back before I gave her a facelift. <laughs> Scary. Well, the beach is clear today. You know, it's good that gun. There we go, out of mole wall down. got a bunch of people in your way in GTA Online, you need to mow them down quickly. Grab a fucking minigun. Even in GTA Offline, run director mode if you ever use that anymore. How to quickly mow down everyone. It's also got a good range. You want the streets to yourself? Grab a minigun and just start obliterating everybody in the street. That teaches everyone who's boss of the street. Well, I could definitely say you are now um, got you are gonna need a body bag. You got those damn tourists. That's always annoying. Asking you for direction directions. There's your minigun. You got that one annoying guy that thinks you're weak and always wants to fight you. There's a minigun for that answer. Or if you just want the street to yourself so you can start smoking on the street. This minigun has you covered. No matter the occasion, a minigun's there for you. Yep, sorry now, I'm just promoting miniguns in my videos. Yes. Violence is not the answer, ladies and gents. Unless if it's GTA. Then, vi then violence is nothing but the answer. Especially if you got that one griefing 12 year old who wants to keep annoying you. What do you do? Grab your minigun or whatever weapon you want of choice to start if it's more overpowered than them. Wait, right, every gun is more overpowered than that one pesky 12 year old on their oppressor mark too. Especially if you say minigun to them. They think they can blow you up. Well, they're gonna constantly keep blowing you up, but at the same time, you can have fun when you're blowing right off their fucking goddamn oppressor for one. 
Just mind the dead bodies, of course. When everyone gets it in the way, grab that fun little thing. Well, not little. Grab that fun oversized gun. For some reason, called a mini gun. I don't know fucking why it's called a mini gun when it's not so mini. I would have called it something else but a mini gun. You've got all them damn annoying terrorists in your way that just wants nothing but death. Give them something to be afraid of. Grab a mini gun from your local. Well, in GTA logic, grab it from your local gun store. Reality, have fun grabbing one. You have that one screaming person that is not. that actually does not know nothing but the scream. Which I'm just trying to quickly try to find her because that was annoying. Start mowing everybody down in your path today. All that you have to do is be a hundred and live. 100, level 120, or a friend with a facility, or have a friend with a damn facility, or own one yourself. And then you can, you too, can join in the fun of mowing people down. Warning, T's and C's apply, and also, it's very, very expensive bullets. It's also the best way to start hunting season, is to have a mini gun. Because why hunt animals when you can hunt people? You've got that large group of bullies at your school. No problem. The minigun has you coming. I don't know why people keep sending me gay party invites when I've got no mic. Or you've got that one annoying guy that does not stop talking nothing but about his penis. Grab that minigun and obliterate it to nothingness. You've got that one guy who's very annoying, just obliterating regardless. He's annoying you, disrupting your schoolwork. Here. Here's your mini, here's your solution to all bullying. It's called Kill the Bully. Become a wanted suspect. And join the party and the fun with me today. That would be all folks from this video. Hopefully you are having a great day. Catch you in the next video, which is probably gonna be 25 minutes from this one.